Hello everybody, it's Mr. Faust again. Today we're going to look at how to reset your Scratch sprites. Now, unlike in code.org, Scratch does not have an automatic reset button, which means that you have to tell the sprite exactly where you want it to go. If you look at my screen, you see that we have our sprite here on the left, and over here I've written some code to make him move around. Let's see what happens. And if we just let this guy go, he's going to keep spinning for a while, so you get the idea. Now the problem is, I want this all to go back to the beginning, but now you see that our little cat has moved in the screen and he's changed his orientation. Which means that what we need to do is tell the sprite to go back to where he was. First thing you're going to do is click on the events, and then select when space key press. Drag that over. And you can change space key to just about anything you'd like, but for right now, we're going to leave it as space key. Next, I need to manually drag the cat back to where he belongs, and I want him to start, oh, right about here, let's say. And I'm going to have to tell it to go there, so I'm going to find my motion control. I'm going to select go to, and I'm going to drag him right over there. And of course, I'm going to check to make sure that the coordinates where he is right now, over here in the right corner, is the same as where he is in the go to command. Negative 2 and 17. Good. Now my cat's going to go back to that spot no matter where he ends up, but unfortunately he's still going to be pointing in whatever direction he finishes in. So the next thing I need to do is take a point in direction, drag that over, and his orientation is in fact facing right, so I'm going to leave it there. Now when I hit the space key, everything resets to how it was. No matter where he ends up, when I hit that space key, he will always go back to negative 2, 17, and pointing right. Some of you might also use hide commands for your sprite, that is you have them disappear or show up. Be sure that you also include that in your reset so that if your sprite disappears at some point, it shows up at the beginning or vice versa. And that's all it takes, folks. You can copy that code onto each of your sprites. Just make sure that it goes back to where you want it. It points in the right direction and it either shows or hides according to the beginning of your program.